to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Your name, my hey, is your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your grace upon me, breathe. Just breathe your grace upon me, breathe. Your hand, my head is your name. Breathe, Lord. Just breathe your grace upon me, breathe. Hallelujah. Who is Jane? I'm hearing a name, Jane. Who is that? Jane. will be seated shortly Jane Pali Sane Shalam Brakatos Kete Bariata This person I'm seeing is like an elderly woman No, oh, this is not a young lady but I'll pray for you I will pray for you but Please come Just a few minutes we'll be back seated is God wasting your time? Sir, look at me. This man, look at me. The chains that hold the works of your hands, I bring judgment upon them now. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, I release you by the spirit of grace. Go and return with testimonies. Your life will so shift you will wonder and marvel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, ma? I hope you're not embarrassed that I'm calling you. In the name of Jesus, there is a name above all names. There is a name above all names. Madam, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I declare may grace come upon you and I release you by this, by this shout. In the name of Jesus, step into the realms of favor for you and for your family. For you and for your family. My dear... I remove that. I'm seeing something that looks like a crown, but it's not of God. I remove it from your head now. This lady. Out of her life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I hear the chains falling. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Abuja. Abuja here. Yes, Did you come alone? Yes, sir. Come. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Just calm down. Look at me. I want to pray for you. Two things. Number one, God is going to take something out of your stomach. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That demonic thing that is growing to become a fibroid, God wants to cause it now. Number two, I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing a woman, but I'm not seeing a face. This is something that has covered your glory. I want to pray for you. I use her as a point of contact. If there is anyone here, the devil has covered your glory. You are among men that can give you visibility, but something is covering you. I bow my knees to the God of heaven and I tear that fell into pieces. I tear that fell into pieces. I tear... I tear that fell into pieces. Hallelujah. 
let it be so for you in the name of Jesus Christ for all of you who have come out I decree and declare for whatever reason you came out let there be miracles for you supernatural miracles in Jesus name what do you do sir huh businessman sir businessman I have an oil and gas firm sir in just I just asked you what you do I want to pray for you I'm seeing you climb a ladder that breaks and brings you down. Look at me. I don't know you all, sir, but I want to pray for you. Here, God makes men. He doesn't just bring made people. He makes men. Stand up. What will happen to you between now and August will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. I release that grace. Go back to the oil and gas sector with that grace. Go and excel. Shift systems and excel. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is God that causes men to advance. Nobody has the power in himself to advance. Please hear me. It is not within the power of men to move beyond certain points. Mama, the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Let mama come. This is a whole family. I don't know what is it, but God is visiting this family. All of you come out. I'm seen by the spirit. I don't know you. Are you alone, ma? Look at me. Yes, I'm alone. Where are your children? One is in London, the other one's in Abuja. Please shift, let me talk to my mama. Mama, I want to pray for you. Shame and reproach. I'm saying it in the open. Whatever wants to turn your children to become instruments of shame and reproach, I stand by the God of heaven. I cancel it right now. I cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus. Number two, mama, you don't have any business with dead people coming to you. In dreams while you are sleeping I declare in the name of Jesus every covenant that connects you to the grave I'm using mama to pray for anyone here the voice of the grave is calling you or calling your loved ones you are seeing the faces of dead men in the name of Jesus I break that connection forever I break that connection forever for the living and the dead have nothing in common I separate you by the blood of the eternal covenant. Who is Deborah? Deborah. I'm hearing a name, Deborah. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, and what can stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? Just let me, two minutes, we are done. Two of you, the power of God is going to come on you. Eh? I'll pray for everybody, but I can imagine that there are so many Deborahs. You can just stand. I know all of you are Deborahs, but will just pray sometimes God just does these things but there are two of you right now as I'm speaking the angel of the Lord is pouring oil on your head and the power of God is going to come upon you there are activations happening to two of you it's not something you can stand we're talking of the power of the Holy Spirit here two of you May the sound of reproach help her not be heard in your life again. That lady under the anointing, may the sound of reproach from you and your family not be heard anymore. I pray for all of you who have come out by this prophetic word. In the name of Jesus, go back and experience victory. Go back and experience victory. God who located you is also giving you a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are you from? My sister. Where are you from? Kaduna Road, sir. Huh? Kaduna Road. I come from Kaduna Road. From where? Kaduna Road. No, no, no. Where are you from? State from of Kogi origin. State, Kogi. I want to pray for you. That everything that is not the planting of God, huh? In the name, I'm not a prophet of doom. Don't be afraid. I decree and declare. Anything that wants to bring you down and bring your family to the grave, I cancel it right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ for all of you who are out may the Lord grant you victory in Jesus name please go back to your seat rejoicing very quickly hallelujah I don't know if it's the mother or the person who is here your son has written jam jam seven times no admission they try and try and nothing happens I don't know if the individual is here or I just want to break that that demonic hold right now and then we'll sit down and listen number two well this this may not be something i'll say publicly but we have to pray i'm seeing a politician in serious trouble we have to pray we have to pray the spirit of the waster in the name of jesus provided you are under this influence we declare that for the sake of the grace and the mercy of god everything that wants to cause the sword you do not live by the sword and you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus christ the course of the waster will follow them in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God the course of the waster will follow them in the name of Jesus can we sit down to continue please sit down God bless you I rebuke that spirit that lady let me pray for her the lady on green there yeah. I command that devil let her go now release our destiny give her peace in jesus name god bless you you can take them including this one now in jesus name now please pay attention we're discussing something here spiritual patterns guarantee the glory of god every time his glory is revealed it is proof that his patterns have been kept number two compliance to spiritual patterns guarantees sustainable results sustainable results matthew chapter 7 please give us verse 24 to 27 matthew chapter 7 therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine the bible says and doeth them i will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock reading to 27 and the rain descended listen carefully and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house everything that happened to the other fellow building on sand happened to this same man the bible says and it fell not why for it was founded upon a rock 26 and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand last verse and the rain descended the floods came the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell here's what the bible says and great was the fall of it you must trust god for grace to get out of these balloon results up today down tomorrow are we together now the bible declares that the path of the just can be as a shining light when it is not built by patterns it will not last i assure you no matter how flamboyant it looks don't trust it because of the aesthetics trust it because of the patterns that when the rain comes when the wind blows it will stand because it was built upon the rock ministry let it be built upon patterns there are many people for instance who start ministry just because they heard the voice of god <laughs> that looks very spiritual but it's a dangerous motivation for ministry god told me go and start ministry that's wonderful so why did you start the ministry i know that god told me i am sending you to heal the sick i am sending you to be an evangelist the voice of god must submit to the patterns for church growth otherwise you will be surprised that even though it is god sending you you will suffer as if it's not his voice is not in your life are we together there are many sincere people 
who are under all kinds of limitations in life because they exalted prophecy they exalted the speakings of spirits they exalted the advices of men even well-intentioned people above the patterns of God hear me if you never hear any audible voice and all you do is submit to the integrity of scripture you will have the result that is greater than one who hears every day and does not walk in the patterns listen to what I'm telling you Africa is a place of a lot of spirituality delving now into superstition our strength is based on the numerous noise of voices sincere and insincere all together none of them let me tell you no matter how well meaning sustains the ability to keep a man you must subscribe to the patterns no matter who prophesies or blesses your business it does not sustain the ability to produce results transgenerationally until in addition to that voice and that prophecy you subscribe to the pattern that makes for longevity of anything are we together patterns are powerful sustainable results fruits that abide you want to build something that lasts please look up you want to be in ministry or in business or in whatever endeavor you are involved in for a very long time leaders are intentional people they are men of mastery nobody wins the olympic by mistake now patterns when you have the patterns you cannot only perpetuate the results you can reproduce them anywhere regardless it is true it is true patterns give you sustainability look up please and predictability to your result when you are up today and down tomorrow favor today disfavor tomorrow laughing today smiling tomorrow there's too much amateurism and gets work in your work you have to back up and begin to study the patterns that bring predictability to your life are we together for instance using business people as a case study there are many wealthy and blessed people today who rose to the ranks of, of financial abundance through knowledge they can reproduce and perpetuate their results regardless the geographic region regardless the policies surrounding them because they build by light there are others who respectfully speaking maybe just looted from the treasury even though they have it they can't perpetuate it they can't reproduce it because it did not come through understanding hallelujah god is giving you predictability because you see when you succeed usually men will believe you are lucky <laughs> but when your results become sustained there's no more luck there you don't become sustainably successful by luck gentiles can come to your light but their things only come to the brightness of your rising this is true for any aspect of life politics and governance business ministry career family whatever it is provided you hold the keys the patterns that are responsible for that outcome i had the privilege of watching god's servant i couldn't make it and i was watching the 40th anniversary of the living faith and while i heard him preach at a point quite honestly i was not just listening to the sermon again i was saying i remember or i can imagine when the ministry was say 10 or 15 years probably he said after 40 years we'll still be doing this i'm sure there are people who said you are not sure but now after 40 years when i looked at papa copeland in his 80s speaking with such conviction i said patterns are dangerously powerful they look like they will fail but you will keep working with them for a long time and they will not fail the simplicity of patterns is why they are not trusted 
patterns are deceptively simple if it be thou bid me come come he said and such a complicated issue like walking on water suddenly becomes child's play because someone learned to obey the master spiritual patterns give you predictability and sustainability let me tell you this 30 years if christ tarries 40 years if christ tarries you will still be standing and waxing strong and moving forward because you are not moving yourself forward there is an agency a combination of the spirit and understanding moving you forward fear your result if it just happened but if it happened by patterns rest leads me to the third point spiritual patterns give us peace and confidence it's one thing to have results but it's another thing to trust and to be secured in the results that you have peace and confidence isaiah 33 and verse 6 it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times when you have wisdom when you have knowledge it gives you stability you no longer are afraid of your results why because the some of you here are chefs some of you here uh, wonderful people when it has to do with cooking and the rest if you ask me now as anointed as I am you bring me ingredients and say quickly you are giving 30 minutes or two hours cook something you have to sign that whatever I cook you must eat it so that I don't know I'm, I'm sure that I'm not wasting my time are we together I'll have to pray except if the Holy Ghost just appears and says add this after 10 minutes at this it's not that bad but i think it's not good too i'm not <laughs> are we together yeah why it's not because the food cannot be made there is a lot of guessing you'll be surprised that salt may be the first thing i'll add <laughs> and then add any other thing mix them i'll just mix whatever the menu says and close it and say lord i unto you i commit this meal But there are some of you here even if we say cook for all of us even if it's for twenty thousand people all you need is space and time you will surprise us like you are cooking for one person because you are cooking out of knowledge you are not afraid of what you are doing the number does not matter the formula is the same are you seeing that now yes so you are no longer afraid of your results listen god is helping you to take away fear the moment you are afraid can i deliver can i not deliver that is a report card go back and become a master masters don't fear they, they are saturated by the ordinances that keep them on top they are secured by it when you say god help me he does not say ah you're about to disgrace my name we're talking of the ancient of days he now says claire let me see that challenge God, I've never seen it. He said, it doesn't matter. I'm creator. I can take it out of the way. Mastery. We must fade away fear from our lives. Fear of producing results. God blesses your business. You make great gain and you are afraid because you are sure it will not last. The moment you are sure it's not, it will not last, you are right. It won't last. I'm called into ministry what is the guarantee that I'll still be blessing people what is the guarantee that if I stand on the crusade ground the sick will be healed what's the guarantee that if I speak God is directing me and saying I'm blessing people I'm imparting someone ah let me not announce it oh what if I now say your name is John and nobody comes out what if I now say God is giving speed and everybody's looking at you no it is a call for mastery you go back and learn the ways of the spirit how can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind his power at work in you changing everything in obedience to Christ tonight swallow your pride tonight
come to the school of the spirit don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life it's a little here a little dear and then your day will dawn he's at work in you changing everything in obedience to christ he's the holy ghost he's the holy ghost he's the spirit of the living god he's the holy ghost scepter of the king of kings he's the holy ghost the seal of the age to come he's changing everything in obedience to Christ rearranging everything in obedience to Christ you are building everything in obedience to Christ please sit down we have to pray peace and confidence Leviticus 26 and verse 6 a scripture I found that blessed me years ago please read with me if you're a Christian ready one to read and I will give you peace in the land say amen. amen let's keep reading and ye shall lie down and none shall make you afraid and I will read evil beasts out of the land neither shall the sword go through your land peace why Job told us a secret that the Lord would deliver you from six things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. He said, because you have a covenant with the stones. Do you know what that means? That every manipulation of witchcraft depends on the elements of creation to work. But I have a covenant with them. So when you use them against me, they will not work. They were authorized to support me and not fight me. Whether you use water, whether you use the stones, whether you use the rocks, whether you use animals, there is a covenant between me and creation that no enchantment and no divination can stand. So I find rest. I can sleep with my eyes closed. Please sit down. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence, the destruction, help them please, that wasted in noonday. There are all kinds of evils sweeping across our world. You get up in the morning, you are stretching outside, you just receive something you have no business receiving. You return back into a life of tragedies. Someone shout no way. And confidence many believers are afraid we pray out of fear we walk out of fear how am I sure that if I lose this job there is a way out how am I sure my destiny will be fine now that I'm 40 or 50 or 60 how am I sure they are not going to diagnose me with maybe kidney or prostrate fine rest I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you are God. Truly I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you God is giving us peace and rest. It used to be elderly people who have high blood pressure. Right now you see teenagers moving around, talking as if they are 50 years. Someone who is 19, speaking foolishly. What is wrong? And he's not even aware. May that spirit be far from your life. Far from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Worry. There are people who sleep 
they have to take pills that are as full as my hand in their their teens their twenties their thirties their forties it's almost killing you find peace mastery of the patterns of god can you can secure his presence you can know he's there waiting for a feeling is nonsense you can know he's there I will be still and know you are God. We will be still and know you are God. But Apostle, while I'm being still, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man, how shall these things be? How shall my life be lifted? Are you sure God will not disappoint me? should i truly put all my eggs in one basket if it is the divine patterns of god you can die believing him i assure you but before you make boast be sure that you are walking by his patterns because if you are not walking by his patterns shame is imminent but if by his patterns then you can be sure that his divine power can give men all things that pertains unto life and godliness listen to me God in this season is going to be challenging many of you to do a lot of things ambitious things daring things he's going to give you instructions you may do what you have never done in your life before find rest trust the patterns even if you do not trust yourself for some of you God will speak to you and say all right by next month start that building and the only thing you have is 10 bags of cement and a land you are still negotiating and god will say you go and get one trailer of sharp sand pour it there let the devil see it that the hand of zerubbabel let me tell you this god can only become omega if you allow him become alpha if you refuse i initiate that dimension lord you must be alpha then he's guaranteed to be omega write this down the bible is a coded compendium of spiritual patterns the bible is a coded compend bible is a coded compendium listen carefully the bible is a coded compendium of spiritual patterns that lead to various kinds and various levels of extraordinary results I was teaching the school of ministry students i think it was yesterday and we were examining pneumatology and i was telling them that the bible just because every kingdom has secrets are we in agreement every kingdom has secrets and the secrets are hidden listen carefully they can hide the treasures of the kingdom somewhere there can be coded doors some of the doors are even hidden in dimensions it's not a physical door you invoke you enchant things and then the doors appear they are hidden in dimensions planes of reality the bible this book you see is more than a book with information it is a compendium of coded secrets from the old testament to the new testament the gospels the epistles down till revelation it is coded and full of mysteries that control different levels of results just reading them intellectually may not grant you access to all of those coded information the bible says let me show you a scripture that will bless you very quickly and then we'll pray isaiah 29 please from verse 11 and 12 isaiah 29 verse 11 and 12 very quickly and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of what a book koinonia read with me a book that is sealed just because it is opened does not mean it is opened you can open your bible but it is still sealed which men deliver to one who is educated saying read this i pray and he said i cannot why for it is sealed next verse it says and the book is delivered to him that is not learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i'm not even educated in the first place 
what kind of a book is that that whether you are educated or not it doesn't mean anything as far as decoding the mysteries are there your life not prophetically directly is written in this book you are seeing believe me this is not just a prophetic statement is a literal statement but until god opens your eyes you will find something that was written in the bible that has not been fulfilled by anybody and you will know you are the one it was written for not just to apply it prophetically directly but until god opens your eyes you will not see the messianic prophecy was written hundreds of years before jesus came many people saw it and they thought they were the ones to fulfill it but when jesus came in luke chapter 4 the bible says he was given the scroll of Isaiah for to read when he opened it he said the spirit of the lord is upon me when he was done saying it he said today this scripture is fulfilled that means i am the one this was written about you will be surprised to know how many things were written about you and your family until god connects the dots psalm 25 and verse 14 here it is the secret of the lord the secret of the lord god has secrets believers hear me god has secrets not everything is in plain sight the secret of the lord is with them that fear him the hebrew word yirat adonai the spirit of reverence is with them that fear him and he will show them listen there is a dimension of spiritual truth that cannot be studied you are initiated like occultism into that body of truth you cannot find it on your own it's the spirit of grace that will draw your hands and take you to that inner chamber of the spirit and you will see mysteries it says open down my eyes that i may behold behold wondrous things from out of thy law until then i'll just be reading the law but when my eyes are open then i will now see hallelujah matthew chapter 13 and verse 11 jesus was teaching and he said because it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom please look up these patterns as coded as they are they were encapsulated into a body of knowledge the bible calls mysteries please shout it after me say mysteries the mysteries of the kingdom what are they the hidden code of operation these are the body of truth that help believers to excel in light the body of truth allocated for my victory and your victory they are called mysteries happy is a man that finds them happy is the man who god causes to approach him when you approach him he grants you access to these mysteries when you find it they are life to those who find them your life becomes episodes of wonder just when you think you have exhausted a dimension you will see another one unfolding Ephesians chapter 3 let's do a long reading and then we'll pray there was a man in scripture called Paul he later would become the apostle of the Lamb this was a man who was learned he was a pharisee and then when he began to communicate certain depths of the spirit paul noticed that every time as he sojourned mentoring and building the church even the very apostles of the lamb were concerned are you sure about these things you are teaching and paul said listen before i start my lecture i need for you to know the basis give it to us verse one for this cause i paul the prisoner of jesus christ for you gentiles reading to verse 10 if ye have learned of the dispensation of the grace of god which was which is given me to you word that means for your sake a measure of grace was given how that by revelation you see it there 
he made known unto me the mystery a body of truth was given to me as an apostle for the sake of a generation he's explaining now that as complicated as my thoughts are you need to understand that these are not fabrications of a pharisee's intelligence i was drawn like being initiated into a room and i was given a body of truth for a generation as i wrote afore in few words verse 4 it says whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ five which in other ages here it is was not made known unto the sons of men wow these dimensions were not revealed to anyone it says as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit verse 6 that the gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of the promise in christ by the gospel seven whereof i was made a minister according to the gift are you seeing it there the gift of the grace of god given unto me by the effectual working of his power eight unto me who i am less than the least of the saints is this grace given that i should preach among the gentiles the unsearchable riches of christ two more verses and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in god who created all things by christ what do we do with these mysteries verse 10 to the intent this is why these mysteries are given there are arrogant principalities and powers that will not respect God nor the saints. So this mystery was given as a way of punishing the powers of darkness and forcing them to acknowledge the superiority of Christ to the intent that now to the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom when those minis, those mysteries manifest we call them the wisdom of god but listen to me they are a body of truth i'm praying that you will believe what i'm telling you and you will be surprised to see the way your life will change mysteries when you hold them like a bunch of keys you can find rest knowing that your life must become exceptional all you need to do is begin to travel when you stand before a door you check and remember the holy ghost is with you there what mystery opens that door and he says open this twice the mystery that opens this door is there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty you get to a door and the mystery that opens it is that you sow both bread and seed. Seed is for eating, bread is for sowing. But there are certain doors that both bread and seed together is what opens them. That you can cast your bread before the waters. And in this case, you will find it after many days. Then you open that door. You can get to another door. It says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise. By doing that, I will be saved from my enemy. So when it is clear that defeat is imminent, you will back up like the days of Jehoshaphat. Write your prayer request on the ground and dance like a madman while people are sleeping over something you know has been concluded. And while that is happening, ah, the God of heaven, is turning things around. Yeah, is turning things around. At midnight, while the rest were sleeping, Paul and Silas said, you wasted your time by closing this door. You would have chained me in the days of my ignorance. But we are not just here as empty apostles. We know what to do. When they prayed, they saw angels. They said, get out of my way. I need God himself to come here. The Bible says they sang. They sang aloud. Because their singing aloud was putting pressure on his integrity. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can. 
to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.